previously on Fahrenheit. Hey everybody, my name is Chief Folklore and welcome back to Let's Play Fahrenheit. In this episode, we're going to be joining Carla and Tyler at the police station. Um, I was Carla before, so let's be Tyler this time. I wonder what our... Five oh, men in the it is our boss. Four wrecked squad cars. A helicopter that just missed blowing up in our faces. Meanwhile, the killer takes a nice quiet ride on the subway. I hope there's a good explanation for all this. He's Neo. Uh, Tyler. Nobody could have predicted the way things went down, Captain. We should have had him no problem, but the guy pulled some unpredictable stuff out there. This Kane is not the Sunday driver we thought he was. Just what are you trying to tell me here? That this guy is Superman? That's no, he's Neo. And you seriously he is the one. Buy that crap? Uh, uh, Tyler again. Captain, we're not amateurs. If this guy was a tourist, we would have cuffed him and stuffed him in no time. We underestimated him. He's a lot more dangerous than we thought. I don't give a crap about your two-bit excuses. When the press it's not an excuse. The slip through our fingers, they're going to make me a laughingstock. And the mayor's going to come looking for my head. Now, what is the plan, people? Are you on his trail? Yes, we are. Uh, Carla this time. Kane's photo will be in every squad car, train station, and airport. We're going over every inch of his apartment and interrogating his associates. He can't stay hidden forever. I want every available man on Kane's ass right now. I want him locked up tight in 48 hours or less. You understand me? Wait, 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 wait. This, this one guy who killed one person now get out of here. is the most important man to kill. Or, oh, not kill, Carla, capture. What? We that doesn't make sense. In an apartment where we found the dead body of an old ah, lady. poo. And that's not all. There was a double murder last night in a lavomatic. One of the two victims was killed by knife blows to the heart. Garrett's already there. He's waiting for you. Well, looks like they're going to pin us that on that murder as well. Ah, oh, poor Agatha. Right. Ooh, okay. So, ooh, let's see. Lucas at the church or the lawn. Right. You know, what? we're going to go to the uh, Lavomatic or the Laundrette, as I usually call them. Uh, mainly because uh, let's keep this part of the story going for now. Minus five degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, they got the name of the game in it. Colder. The whole city seemed to be numbed by the snow and ice, but nobody was worried about it yet. All right. Uh, how do you? No. Oh, oh wait, wait. <laughs> that's first person view, but that's not gonna help. Go take a look inside, Tyler. I'm going to talk to Garrett and see if he found anything. Cool with me. I can't even think out here in this damn cold. She seems to be all right, though. Uh, mm, excuse me, sir. Go home, sir. There's nothing to see here. Wait. Wait, what? Is my character trying to levitate? Oh, dear. Ah, uh, you go. I was waiting for you, Carla. So, what happened here? The guy who runs the lavomatic found the bodies around 5 o'clock this morning when he came to open up. When he tried to get in, it seemed like the door was blocked from the inside. He saw the two bodies through a window and called the cops. Uh, the victims. What do we know about the victims? The man was called Jose Lopez. He works here and was supposed Talk to... Talk about generic. The woman's name was Anita Martinez. She did her laundry here on a regular basis. Wow. <laughs> Were there any prints? Talk about the most generic name Just you could think of. of. The victims. No prints from Cain, if that's what you're wondering. Damn. Thanks, Garrett. Yeah, nothing to do with this one. Mm. What else can we pin a murderer on for him? Well, let's go inside and find out. Uh, first thing we should do is pretty obvious. Let's grab this card. There we go. Another 10 bonus points. Awesome. 
Hmm, let's see. Now I can switch to Tyler, but we'll do that in a second. First off, let's take a look at the body. Three or four stabs in the area of the heart. Exactly like the victim in the restaurant. I wouldn't be surprised if the autopsy finds that the arteries were severed. Yet they're never going to connect these murders, just like before. Can I look at the phone? Nope. Uh, can I talk to him? Nope. Ah, blood prints. Here we go. Did you notice this blood over here? Yeah, I saw that. What do you think it means? It the means that the killer was stabbed in blood. Because, like you know, it, it would make sense. There was, there was a painter. A knife Ooh. stuck in his eye. Death would have been instantaneous. Ooh, that's bizarre. horrible. What do you mean bizarre? It's a very bizarre. He killed himself. His wrists are all cut up. Looks like some kind of symbol carved on them. Snake. A snake with two heads. Yes, a two-headed snake. Why not? And that's it. So let's switch to... There we go. Switch to Tyler. Come and get your swagger on. Let's find out what we can do. Okay, your turn to look at the body. Knife is stuck in his eye. Damn. That's gotta hurt. Yep. Uh, anything else? Poor girl. She was stabbed from the front. She found out who her killer was at the very last moment. The phone. Look at the phone. We can still hear the dial tone. She must not have had time to dial the number. Too bad. We could have had that, a live witness. How is that making her feel better? Oh, sorry, him. How does it make him feel better? You know, like, damn, she was killed. And while we're at it, was unable to do much of anything else. Oh, oh, oh what was that? Ooh. Here's the victim's laundry. Who would have believed she wouldn't be alive to get it out when it was ready? Yes, who would believe? That is a shame. Um, I think... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Key first. There's a key in the door. Did you notice the key in the lock? Yeah, I saw that. There's no other way into this place. How did the killer get out? Doesn't make any sense. The killer didn't. The killer is right there with a knife in his eye. We saw it all. Well, they didn't. We did. Let's leave. Let's go. I've seen enough. What are we supposed to think about this murder? The guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but... It's the only explanation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. Well, of course it didn't. Well, Kane same, didn't. There's got to be a link between the two murders. Yes, there is. It's a lunatic running around saying really weird words. Uh, Agatha? How much did I drink? <coughs> My alarm clock. I must wake. No, I'm going back to bed. I must wake up. There we go. Up to Daisy. And we're at church. Awesome. No, just just stay there. You're safe there. Nice nah, get up. Come on. Alright, so probably assuming this is where our brother um holds his services. That sounds an awful lot like Agatha. It Agatha. is Agatha, is that you? I, I thought you were dead. In a way. But I promise to tell you what I know. And I always keep my word. 
Listen carefully, Lucas. We have very little time. You are not insane. Just I murderous. You are murderer. You are simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. Dun, dun, dun. Why? Why did they pick me? Why did they want to kill that guy? Pure chance. They just needed one man to kill another in order we'll go to go to a open prison. There's loads of them. The serpents. Why? Why pick You're on me? The first to be chosen. Nah, I'm just joking, guys. I wouldn't expect anyone to do that. And certainly not the last. Um, who? Who's doing and who this? Who made me commit that murder? Who came and sat down at my table in the restaurant? No one knows his real name. They call him the Oracle. Okay. He serves the most powerful he's of the evil powerful. and his name is the Oracle. In shadow, but they right. have controlled this world since the dawn of time. That doesn't make sense. They're coming. Save yourself, Lucas. They want your life. Quet knit lad. In the ancient Quet Mayan civilization. You'll find some of the answers you seek there. <laughs> Quet knit lan. Okay. Agatha? Agatha! Yeah, Mayan civilization, this is going to be cut. Oh, Simon Says is back. And angels are attacking me. Okay. Right. Done. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. No one catches us. I probably will in a minute because I'm going to make a muck up. Sorry, I'm not talking much, but this is actually a lot more annoying than you might think. Why are angels attacking me? Is this the oracle's doing? You're telling me the oracle has the ability to make... Well, he's not actually attacking us. He's basically using, like... Well, the easiest way to put it is... He's making us see these things in order for us to kill ourselves. It's all an hallucination, probably. I highly doubt he can make these... Oh... How did I manage that? I don't know. I'm not complaining. Let go of me. St. Michael, let go of me. I, I, let go of me, St. Michael. I think it's St. Michael. Oh, are they, oh my hands. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, God. Yeah, like that. Come on, come on. Lucas, Lucas, wake up. See? It's all in our mind. What are you doing here? He's what trying to... He's basically the like using fight. Jedi powers on us, isn't he? Get away. I walked all night. So, I didn't you, have any words. So me. Go, so I came here. My God. This time you really have to go to the police. So you're telling me that the no only way we can really do this is I'm the fact that it's like I the Force. It's happened. the light side versus the dark side. Okay. My powers. Let's talk about Something my powers. Something strange is happening to me, Marcus. Since the murder, I, I find I can do abnormal things. I see visions of certain events before they happen. I have Sometimes Jedi I Force powers and thinking. the ability to dodge bullets. And my body has become much stronger and faster. Nobody has powers like that. You're not turning into a Superman, Lucas. I am. I'm Superman. So Agatha again. Here, just a while ago. She, she's dead, but she had some things to tell me. I, I think she wants to help me. Agatha is dead? 
Are you telling me that you... No, I didn't kill Agatha Marcus. She was dead by the time I got there. But you're saying that you talked to a dead person? None of this makes any sense. Does it have to at this point? What are you going to do? You can't stay here. The police will certainly come to question me and probably place me under surveillance. I have to find some place to hide. I'm a fugitive. My description will go out everywhere. At least now I know that there is an explanation. I need to find the people who are behind all of this. I need to find the Oracle. Lucas. That's what we're going to look for. They'll kill you if they get the chance. Why does it sound so Nothing bad that I, I want to try and kill the Oracle? Because usually they're the good guys, uh, Lucas. Agatha talked about the Mayans. It's vague, but it's all I've got Wait, to I had a choice? On. I've got to find a place to hide while I figure this out. There's only one person who can help me. And that's the end of the episode, guys. Uh, next time we'll be joining... Let's go to the asylum next time, shall we? So until then, see you then.